Howdy folks, welcome to Bobby is Awkward. We're doing my current favorites because who knows when I last did a favorites, who knows when it is, whatever, let's just get into it. So I'm really into wigs, so let's talk about this one. This one is my favorite wig. It, uh, it's looking a little wild on camera, but it's purple into ombre pink as you can see. I really, really dig wigs right now. Can't leave my house, so I'm trying new things. It is what it is. So when I'm not wearing wigs, as you noticed in my last video, I'm wearing my hair straight. I'm not wearing it curly. My straightener, that was a gazillion years old. I don't know, it was a hand-me-down, died. If you have a Costco membership and need a straightener, you need to run, not walk to Costco. They have T3s for $69. It goes up to a 410 degrees. I don't use it that high. I use it at 390. It is titanium plates. It works great. I love it. It is one of my favorite things. It has a long cord too. Oh, we can't see. It has a long cord. I also have this heat sleeve, but I don't think Vera Bradley makes them anymore. I definitely know they don't make them in that pattern anymore. <sighs> if you've been around a while, you know I play D&D. You know I love D&D. Well, a book came out two months ago, a month ago, I don't remember. But if you play D&D, you need this book. Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It's like the player handbook 2.0. It adds so much more to the game. It's amazing, must have. I got this book. I read it, I love it. It's not really life changing because I was already doing some of their things and didn't even realize it. But I went out and I bought this book. <laughs> That's right, I have both home edit books. I love them. They are great. Urge me to repurge my house? Yes, they did. Very much so. Um, well, we're onto weird things now. So I avoided this like the plague for years uh, and years. I bought other wireless earbuds for years and years. I have an iPhone, AirPods. These are just the regular old AirPods. They're not the fancy ones. They are worth every penny. I now understand why people love AirPods. My case too, I love my case. It's a lucky kitty. I can link it down below. It's from Amazon, but AirPods, they charge quickly. They hold a charge well. Like they are just overall great AirPods. I just love AirPods. I like flavored coffee. If you've been around for a while, you should know this. I prefer flavored coffee. But this is Nespresso Caramel Cookie. I think it's caramel. Oh, yep, caramel cookie. This is an unopened sleeve, but probably my favorite Nespresso flavor is the caramel cookie. Mm, so good. Actually, my favorite is the chocolate but I don't know if it was just seasonal. I can't seem to get it anymore, but they haven't taken it off the website or the app. I purged. Talking about purging things, I went through all my lotions and got rid of all the ones I would never wear that were expired, and then I went out and bought a new lotion, but it smells amazing. So good, and it's of my favorite brand, the Hemp's brand. This is Sugared Banana and vanilla blossom it just smells so good it's limited edition it it just smells good this is the body cream not the lotion but i do also love their lotions i own their lotion in the original hemp smell and something almond it's really good too i got it for christmas it's from an etsy seller it is an essential oil rollerball necklace I will link the shop, but it's something steampunk. I love this necklace. That's amethyst on it, by the way. Purple is my favorite color, if you didn't know. Makeup wise, I've been reaching for this same $3, you hear me, $3 eyeshadow palette from Eyes, Lips, Face, Elf. 
Here it is. It's called rose water. This, this shade right here, the only matte shade in the palette, is my favorite. I use it all the time. I have this eyeshadow palette on my face today with a color from another palette in the outer corner because there's not enough mattes. Like it needs, this darker shade should be a matte and it would be absolute perfection. But for $3, I cannot complain. Into tarot. I don't have the actual box these tarot go in. I don't know where it's at, but this is my favorite deck of tarot. Uh, oh, I'm opening it wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. They look like this and this. They're cats. It's cat tarot. I love them. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please correct me. Uh, I got them on Amazon. If they're still available, I will link them. They are by far my favorites, as you can tell, because they have a pretty fancy box. So, as I said in the video that went up before this one, I can't stop listening to folklore. So, of course, folklore is here. Cannot stop listening to folklore. Like, absolutely adore folklore. Also, high school me, I don't know, has taken over my brain and I cannot stop listening to the Eminem show. There, I have nothing to say there. I just, I, it's really the only album of his I listen to. I've never really gotten into his music, but that one album I can jam out to. And I've really, really, been into this band and if you look up this band you're gonna be like I'd watch their music videos their music videos are so well done though ghost I don't what is the name of this album is uh, Mel Meloria I don't I don't know how to pronounce it this one this one is excellent also the one that has rats on it is excellent but uh, I have been digging ghosts. I've also been digging screaming metal bands covering pop songs or country songs. So, oh, let me look up the band. I Prevail covered blank space. It is excellent. I would, I'll link the Spotify down below. Chef's Kiss. It is so good. And then a band I found on TikTok. We, we won't talk about that, okay? I found them on TikTok. Um, oh no, the song isn't out yet. They covered a Garth Brooks song in Screamer Metal. This is, these are my jams. I like cover songs in different genres. I also, I found that Spotify has a playlist of just people covering music. It is literally the best thing I have found. Uh, Yo-Yo Ma covers Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. I can jam out to that. Like, I don't need Ed Sheeran's voice, but I got the beat of Shape of You. To cello. Chef's Kiss. Amazing. And... John Prine covered, I just called to say I love you. Oh, that's so good. Miley Cyrus, Edge of Midnight remix with Edge of Seventeen. It's, it's so, so good. Also, the Evanescence cover of The Chain. Literally, that's melding together two things I love. Mind blown when I heard that. I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> so I really like, really like covers. So if you know any good covers, send them to me. I will listen to them. <gasps> also, 
This one is a guilty pleasure. I'm guaranteeing you. Nobody watching this is probably going to like this. Chris Jericho's band Fozzy covers SOS by ABBA. I love it. I, I love it. So I've rambled on about music enough. You should definitely check out Awkward Club. We didn't have an episode last Thursday. Something went wrong with the recording and it like meshed together two parts and no matter what I did to fix it, I couldn't fix it and it was already too late to re-record. But there will be a new episode this Thursday talking about the importance of routine. You should definitely check it out. You should check out Kai's channel. They put up videos on Thursday. Stick around and see what YouTube recommends that you watch. Thanks for watching. You should definitely subscribe. I finally hit 200 subscribers. Yes! And I'm so thankful for every one of you. I don't know what to set my new goal as. Thanks for watching. Oh! You should follow me on social media. I'm Bobby is Awkward everywhere. I forgot about that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.